To remove the access panel and toe kick, locate these four screws. You will note two shorter screws on the top of the access panel with two longer screws on the bottom. Be sure when reinstalling the access panel and toe kick that the screws go back in the same location. To remove the inner door panel, locate the seven screws shown here. Taking note that the two bottom screws closest to the tub are machine screws and need to be reinstalled in the proper location. Proceed to remove the seven Phillips head screws. Once the screws are removed, it might be helpful to go ahead and latch the inner door panel in place in order to hold it up and prevent the latch mechanism from coming out. Once the inner door panel and outer panel have been separated, the door springs will try and close the outer door panel due to the lighter weight of the outer door. So you will need to take care to hold it in place or secure it. To understand how the detergent timer lever works, rotate the timer knob clockwise and note here the action of the detergent timer lever. When the timer is advancing normally through a cycle, it utilizes a cam on the timer to reposition this white detergent lever. That movement in turn actuates this black latch for the detergent cup, as well as the little crank arm for the rinse aid assembly. To remove the timer, first remove the timer knob by pulling it straight out. Next, note the black plastic shield wrapped around the timer. Remove the tape to expose the wiring. A couple of quick tests you can make at the timer is to check for power coming into the timer contacts with the black wire seen here. And if the timer is not advancing, you can check for 120 volts at these two wires on the timer motor. To remove the timer, remove these two screws. Lift the timer up and out of the two tabs on the bottom and note the cam assembly that was mentioned earlier that actuates the detergent timer lever with this raised area as the timer advances in a normal cycle. With the timer removed, here is a look at the detergent lever as well as the spring. Note this plastic post on the escutcheon. In the event that the detergent cup is not operating properly, the spring may have come loose and you will need to check to see if this post is broken. To remove the lever and spring, simply lift up and off of the post, taking note of their orientation. To access the two interlock switches, remove this one screw on the leaf actuator. Once removed, lift up on the leaf actuator as well as the black plastic shield covering the switches. You will notice that there are two interlock switches, one to break the neutral side and the other to break L1. If the dishwasher will not run at all, be sure and check both of these switches.